The time has finally come. At long last, the wait is over. We get to play what might just be the game that we've been waiting for for Sonic for the last 23 years. Huh. Only 23? Feels longer. We've talked a lot about Christian Whitehead and Simon Tomley, but tell me about the actual game. The story begins last year, when Christian Whitehead brought a game concept called Sonic Discovery to Takashi Izuka, the producer for the Sonic series. The idea was to merge the gameplay and visual aesthetic of the games from the 90s with the technical capabilities of the consoles of today. Izuka loved the idea, and thought it could really bring back those nostalgic feelings for the series that seemed to have been missing from previous attempts, but he insisted that the game be renamed Sonic Mania, since it was, in his words, by the mania, for the mania. And with that green light, Whitehead got right to work, assembling a dream team of Sonic fans, artists, and developers to bring this game to life. Life. Right up front, Whitehead took on the role of lead programmer, with Simon Tomley and Headcanon right behind him. Assisting on the development was Pagoda West Games, whose founders include Jared Castle and Tom Fry, a designer and an artist who also worked on the Sonic 2 re-release to mobile in 2013. Also with Pagoda West was T. Lopez, a YouTube remix artist who did the music for the mobile Sonic 3 and Knuckles proof of concept, and all three of the Pagoda West members on this project helped work on the community favorite fan game Sonic the Hedgehog 2 HD. Adding to the active development team was Hunter Bridges and Brad Flick from Sonic Nexus, with Bridges as a programmer and product manager and Flick as a level designer. Lola Shiraishi, formerly of Activision, Square Enix, Exceed Games, and Kojima Productions, served as the producer, while Tantalus Media, who co-developed the Wii U remake of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD, assisted on the Switch version of the game. One more unexpected addition was the band Hyper Potions, who composed a set of three songs for use in various trailers and teasers for the game's marketing, including the San Diego Comic-Con event last year where the game was finally revealed. The crowd response was... pretty solid. Last but not least is artist Tyson Hess, an artist from the Sonic the Hedgehog Archie comic that sadly just got cancelled this summer after 24 years running. Him and his wife Mariel Cartwright managed to capture a clever new style for Sonic and his friends, reminiscent of the classic series for a few trailers and even the game's opening animation. With the team assembled, it was time to make the donuts. Stupid. The most important thing about Sonic Mania was going to be recapturing that old gameplay style from the Genesis era, and they had to make sure that the story fit too. After the events of Sonic and Knuckles, Tails discovers a powerful energy signal that doesn't match the Chaos Emeralds coming from far away. They race off to it aboard the Tornado, but they're not the only ones. Slightly depressed after his umpteenth failure in a row, Dr. Robotnik wound up despondent and unwilling to give chase again. Going slightly mad without orders, his Egg Robo started to develop quirks, resulting in their transformation into the hard-boiled heavies. Reinvigorated by the energy of his creations, Robotnik and the heavies head off for the signal as well. As promised in the reveal trailer, you can play as Sonic, Tails, or Knuckles, or even Sonic and Tails, and they make their way through all sorts of zones new and old. Like in previous titles, Tails can fly and swim, and Knuckles can glide and climb walls, but Sonic has swapped out the insta-shield for the new drop dash, which lets him charge up a spin dash in mid-air, releasing it on contact with the ground and zipping off right away. The general mechanics of the games come straight from the Genesis titles as well. Discover giant rings hidden throughout the levels to be teleported to the brand new special stages, a mashup of the ones from Sonic CD and Sonic 3 and Knuckles, with a little Sonic 3D blast for Genesis sprinkled in for good measure. Find a star post with 25 rings and you'll be teleported to a new version of Blue Sphere from Sonic 3 and Knuckles for a chance to win silver or gold medallions. At the end of Act 1, you'll go up against one of the hard-boiled heavies, and after Act 2, you'll fight Robotnik himself. Take them all down and you'll be treated to some between-level cutscenes like the good old days. 
The items you find in the levels are back as well, with some new powered up effects like burning flammable objects or becoming magnetic yourself. The combined ring from Chaotix even makes a return, keeping your rings in large bunches to make reclaiming them a lot easier. Even whole levels come back in this game, with entries from all four Genesis titles and even Sonic CD. They tend to start out pretty similar to their original versions, but after a while you might start to notice some big differences. Even the main theme song seems to be an homage to Panic Puppet Zone from Sonic 3D Blast. Ugh, there are so many throwbacks to old games, and even their betas and prototypes, I, I just can't wait any longer. Alright everybody, say it with me. SEGA! Wow! It's like the old Genesis one right even there. It's uh. the C-Pad, oh. and we're playing Sonic the fucking Hedgehog! Oh, wow, we're... Damn! Wow. I my own bleep noise I there. have such a nostalgia boner. I'm... I'm... Fully erect on Seriously, the inside. I have been waiting for this all day. I have a feeling right now that I have not had since February 3rd, 1994. I'm getting a little dizzy. Are you going to go to Did all those memorize islands? Did you memorize Hedgehog Sonic Day? 3? That's the release of Hedgehog of Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, here we go. referring to as a uh, Hedgehog Day. Oh, it, Tails. No, that wasn't 94. That'd be 92. I thought that was no. November also. One, yes. two, three, Knuckles. Look yeah. Knuckle, Sonic 3 and Knuckles was, two, that was 1994. Then it would have been 93, maybe. Mania. Mania. Oh man! Oh, I love this. Art. So art love style. Song, love this art. Love this by concept. Mr. Hess. Yeah. I want to say Tyson Hess. The world is abstract and weird, like the Adventures of Sonic. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Well, no, this is also in the same vein as a Sonic CD. It is. There's a lot of Sonic Think CD. Think more like the outro when he's running along all those yeah. like paths. Yeah. Release oh. February 2nd, 1994. Sonic 3, not 2. You said 2. I don't think I did, but if yes, I did, I'm did. sorry. I was oh, thinking look three. At these guys. Guys, don't fight. <laughs> oh, man. Studiopolis, Sega. Anyway, oh, shit. I have been dying for this. Oh. I, I remember that feeling. I was so excited, and I have had that feeling oh. all day. I was at work, oh, my God. and I bought this game and downloaded it to my Switch at work just to not play it, because I promised oh. Rick I wouldn't. Wow. And, I'm, getting, uh, I'm getting some real feelings here, guys. Yeah. Oh, I'm here with look at CJ's. These. One of my original Sega friends. Oh, man. I'm here with Rick, one of my modern Sega friends. All right, it's shall like, we jump it's in? It's like John Generations, right? Yeah. Now. Let's jump in, man. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's All right. jump I in. I generously let Rick win the coin toss. Yeah, we had a coin toss. First. And of course, I said Tails, and I won. Correct. Oh, damn. There's like a lot of extra stuff there's going on here. There's shit going on. I guess just Mania Mode. I guess mode. Mania Mode. Oh, ooh, it's a reversed up one. Interesting. So Sonic and Tails together? We have Knuckles, Tails, Sonic, or Sonic and I'd Tails? I'd say for now, Sonic and Tails. Yeah, Sonic right. and Tails. I'm so happy. Oh, oh my god. Oh, my god. Uh, wow! Yes, it looks better than it did on Sonic 3. Oh, yeah. man. I like that is they this made Angel this Island Zone again. It yeah. Is. They made this sprite Is this going to end the set? Oh, oh. No. Uh. Whoa. Oh, shit. This is different. Uh, hey guys. So do you guys think there might be some DLC Ooh, with Sanctuary a couple extra claw. characters? Not that I really... I'm not going to be disappointed if there isn't. That would be fucking I have cool. No idea. It would be amazing. fun to play as Amy. It would be the fuck is definitely that? fun to play as Robotnik or Whoa. Knack. Whoa. Or big or more levels. Yeah, who guys, knows? what the fuck is this that? This is awesome. I'm already psyched. Also, the, the Sonic fuck? sprite looks more like Sonic 1 and 2 than he does Sonic 3, which makes me very happy. Whoa. I didn't like the Sonic 3 sprite. Wait, I what? It sent us back to Green Hill Zone. Sure. Emerald Hill. No, or, no that's Green, Green Hill Zone, man. Okay, so what? he's All got right. some sort of teleporters or something. Oh, man. Oh, this is cool. It all this feels is, great. It's Oop. cool to see uh, Tails here. Yeah. So we're playing this in the Nintendo Switch with the D-pad. I'm John. I'm Rick. I'm the man. <laughs> That's CJ. <laughs> uh, also, the oh, C-pad. Yeah. I am the C-pad. Yeah, he, you oh, are literally man. just the C-pad. Wow, this does feel... We're all the C-pad. This feels like a super... I'm Kano Jaguar, the phenomenal... Face that runs what? the place. That's cool. It feels like a what, Rick? This feels exactly like Green Hill Zone, but it's just much, much. There was prettier. a bonus. Go it's back. The same oh map, shit! I think. It's probably gone, but try. Oh, what? I tried to do the drop dash and it didn't work. What? Ooh. Oh yeah, there you go. Oh shit! So this right. is the bonus, not the special. This is the bonus oh. stage. But Ooh. oh, this Whoa. is like a super polished version. This of is this. like smooth as butter. Yeah, oh my how? god! <laughs> Holy shit! Actually, is this exactly the first one from Sonic Three? Maybe. It really it, looks like it. It feels like it, but it's been upgraded. It feels yeah. a lot smoother. Yeah, this is the first special stage from Sonic 3. So did Sega throw any programmers at this, or is it just the team we've been talking about? It's been Christian Whitehead, Simon Tomley, two guys that worked on Sonic Nexus, and also, uh, I got it right here if you want to. Don't turn it down too much. What's I want to listen to this. Sonic Nexus? 
Sonic Nexus was a fan game that uh, that one of the it's two good. main developers from this worked on. Um, yeah, it's supposed to be really awesome. It never, it never quite got finished, but it was very oh, of course not, technically yeah. amazing, and that's part of what got them their jobs with Sega, basically. It's fucking awesome. I love hearing stories like this, where where people who just love the shit so much are actually, like, noticed and, like, yeah, bring it. It's like yeah. that fan who was, like, invited to be the singer of uh, Queen. Or, no, it was uh, Journey. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And the same thing happened, a similar thing happened with the Queen and Judas Priest, actually. I would compare this to um, the the fan translation of Earthbound 3, sort fuck of. It. No, I do mean, you get an emerald for this? That didn't actually no. ever get an you official. Get medallions what for the, the Sonic 3 What the fuck is a medallion? Ones. You use these to um, unlock This stuff. is so cool. Ooh, look think. at that. This looks right? so good. I think so. They unlock something. The special stages are in giant rings, like I've, in Sonic I've 3. read that you can unlock... Wah. Lightning Whoa. shield, lightning shield yeah. mode... Oh yeah, the shields so have what's different the top powers. Deck? Well, let me try and let me get this first. All right, so that's the lightning one. Yeah, we know so that. Let me try and it does okay, have so that. Okay, so I can do that again. How do I? I'm having a freak out right now because it's the Sonic One and Two sprite with I can't figure Green out the drop Hill dash. zone and the Sonic Three lightning shield. It's so weird I'm so right now. So happy. Oh, there's a little. Ooh, there's some new stuff. CJ, ooh, water I love shield. you. I've read that um you can unlock a mode where you can get Sonic's Insta Shield back. Whoa. And his uh, peel out from Sonic. Yeah, yeah, I heard about that. That's cool. You got oh, hundred nice. yeah. rings. Whoa. But it was watts. funny because they were comp whoever wrote the review complained that in that mode you can't save the game. Well, I mean, yeah, it's you're like, playing. It's like, did you ever play the actual Genesis version Ooh, of these games? Well, wow, this is yeah. really different. It kind of like all of a sudden it kind of changed into something new. What did? The level. This is nothing like the yeah, original oh, yeah, yeah, Green Hill yeah. anymore. Yeah. Like similar textures, but totally remixed. Yeah. Wow. Um, I love this song though, and this is like an updated, jazzier version. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, or this is nice. Big bandier version. Actually. Yeah. There's just like more instrumentation. The oh, there was something to the oh, oh no! no! Did we find it? <laughs> yeah. This is just like the old games. <laughs> Look at Tails. He's so <laughs> upset. <laughs> Sonic, I'm here. Oh Sonic. no! Sonic, oh, I unlocked the game. Guys, we did it. This game is <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> Guys, there's so many. Oh, name this. No. We found a fucking glitch. Restart. Oh, that's a bummer. All right, let's go back to the Episode start. Episode one. We broke Sonic Mania. Damn it. Oh, did I lose the? It's the C pad. Oh, welcome oh, back to welcome. the D pad. I hope I don't lose the uh, the medallion Mania. for that. We're playing Sonic Mania. Why? Uh, well, you find out. Oh, I got it. You hold down the button as you jump. Hold down what? Oh, if you're in midair, you hold down the jump button. Oh, uh, yeah. Then you and dash. And that's how you do it. Yeah. The, if you're down. still holding dash? it when you okay. touch the ground. Okay. Um, All right. So, so it that's takes cool. a little bit of... Whoop. There's also something about the way the music transitions makes me think of Sonic CD. Rings for this. Which is interesting. Oh, no. But it's another so you Sonic must, 3 one. I mean, just, I mean, Sonic CD is the best one. Yeah. You're going to find me on it, but you're Sonic wrong. CD you know has what? representation in this game. I love Sonic you CD. It is represented here. Oh, I know it is. Because they knew what they were doing. So we found a bug. And uh, yeah. then there's also literally a bug on our screen right now. I just is there? Oh, there is. Oh, that's, how, that's what you were talking about. Um, but <laughs> we discovered a bug. It is we in front of us. A bug. Yeah, it is a it is a moth or something. Mm, it's just a fly. It will fly. That's how my cat reacts to it. <laughs> CJ sent me an unboxing video today, and uh, his cat Nami was just in the background. Oh, being yeah, like, hey, oh I didn't catch that part. I need to go back and rewatch it. Yeah. So uh, Nine Inch Nails is releasing a series of EPs uh, throughout the year, and because CDs uh, are out of date. Well, actually, I shouldn't say that because the new one is going to have a CD version. The nice. first one didn't. But um, they're releasing physical components that you can pre-order, but they don't tell you what you're going to get. A lot like the Sonic know. collection we just got, where you pre-order it and all you get is a download code and then a bunch of bullshit. Yeah. So <laughs> I was like, I don't know what I'm getting. So I'm going to do an unboxing video for John because he's going to be entertained by this. Nice. And, uh, I was, and thank the you. The first <laughs> one was a bunch of black dust. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, yeah, right, that's right. And some lithographs. <laughs> if anyone out there listened to Nine Inch Nails, not the actual events EP, and ordered the physical version, you, you know, know that they just sent you some really fucking dirty it's, it's lithographs. Some bla yeah, <laughs> it was hilarious. <laughs> so I, I did another one for the new one, which just I, came in today. I appreciate the ingenuity there, but I'm also like, come on, Trent. <laughs> it's like sending someone a he bunch of glitter. He was just fucking with people. Oh, man. Uh, the, the n I still like, somebody said that if you uh, save all three physical components and then combine them... <laughs> At the end, it becomes a Megazord. It become, no, you get a fourth EP. Oh, <laughs> that's even better. Tells them to blender or so something. Do you still have two medallions? That's what I want. I have to know. no idea. I I probably. I would say there's probably. no way for me to know right if now. If it so. remembered the fact that you'd already yeah. done one of the stages, then probably this has an autosave feature. Oh, that's true. Yeah, it yeah. probably saves oh. after you get the medallion. Uh. 
Oh, oh I think there was. That's true. That's. Oh, oh, oh what was that? Oh, I love the 3D. I didn't that, even see that. That was that new bug with a new move. It looked like he exploded. Utilizing the 3D capabilities of the Nintendo Switch. Oh. Thank you all for that moment of That's silence. That's a bummer. I forget they, they if it's... Need a, they should have a 3DS version of this. Oh, it's not in this. I'm thinking of the... Uh, they in, probably might. In Christian Whitehead's iOS version of the game, there is an achievement if you get all of the rings in that thing in one go. Man, fuck oh. iOS Sonic. Wow. Well, have you played the, re the remade version? Like, there was the one that was in there in, like, 2009-ish, I, I think. I can't which play games totally where my, blue. my thumbs yeah, are covering one. half the screen for half the yeah. yeah. Well, the iOS ones now let you hook up a Bluetooth controller, so it's actually like a real oh, game. okay, so I gotta buy one of those. All right, let's not jump. So that was what I was... Ah, oh, I wanted to go back. There was, like, I, a thing, and I didn't see what it was. I still do want... Uh, yeah, let's do another one. Apple, make an icon. It's, uh, it's an Apple TV, but it plays video games instead of streaming Netflix. So mm. I have Sonic CD for my Apple TV. I just don't have a controller that can do it right. Nice. So it's, I assume it's Whitehead's version. I don't know. I haven't actually played it because uh, I tried to play it for yeah. 30 seconds. Yeah, the, like, this blows. the Apple TV one only came out last year. Yeah. So, so it's got to be brand new. It's got to be him. That's him. That's definitely but I wanna him, yes. get a. I want to get one of those um, 8-bit do um, Bluetooth controllers. What, Nintendo it, don't? Well, uh, right. No, but <laughs> they make them. They're compatible with the Switch and their general Bluetooth. Okay. So it's like a really good general deal. General Bluetooth? Well, oh, that General works. Bluetooth. CJ, how you doing? I'm good. Are you, are you as excited about this game as I am? No. Why not? Well, because, I mean, I'm excited about this game, but... <laughs> I, but you're fucking crazy, I got, I got, right? I, know, I got nothing on you, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> John, I need you to chill the fuck out right now. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, my life cannot be better. I'm here with my best friends playing my best game. Are you going to cry? I'm, I'm, I'm crying a little. Is that, is that, is that okay it's with you? making the game better for me. <laughs> <laughs> It does give me a lot of feelings. Like, yeah. I seriously remember the ad campaign for Sonic 3 was Hedgehog Day, which they made Groundhog's yep. Day for that year B Hedgehog Day. And I was all about Why'd it. Why'd you jump those? So you want to get, get these them and make it. Uh, uh, okay. This guy is on another level. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you played first. <laughs> I would have <laughs> fucked these up. But boom. Three in a row. Three in a row gold. Oh, man. Oh, I like that little sound effect. And, like, oh, I love the classic one there. And fucking. Ah! Oh. So good, you guys! I it's got really a good. medallion! Oh, oh, that's oh. not how that used to be. No. no we're not so, we're like a What is that? Whoa! Ooh. Oh, shit. I like these. So there's a mini boss at the end yeah, of the ah. one. Let's listen yeah. to the music for a second. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh, boy. I like it. It's nice. It reminds me a little of the mini Go, boss Ninja, one go, from, Ninja, uh, go. Is this the one that's called oh, Danger yeah. on the Dance Floor? This one's called Danger on the Dance Floor. Which is a reference to Michael Jackson. To Michael Jackson's Blood on the Dance Floor, which is fun for a lot of different reasons. Uh, yeah. yeah. If you're watching this right now, perhaps you've seen our Sonic the Hedgehog 3 with yeah. Michael Jackson video. So, all which right. is our biggest video right now. Ooh. Oh, I couldn't get over there in time. Oh, you missed. So, Blood on the Dance Floor is a Michael Jackson song whose percussion was used to create the Knuckles theme in Sonic 3, which, which was blew then my built fucking off mind. Of to make the mini boss cool bonus. Which was then built off of to make the mini boss theme from Sonic 3. Talking about oh, that. Are we, are, am I passing it for two or am I doing the full? It's one big map. That's Sweet. cool. The, I like uh, that. Well, yeah, I mean, it's like Sonic 3. Like Sonic 3. Wa-boom. But yeah, so like the fact that the ooh, mini boss. Ooh. Totem poles. Yeah, this is. Oh, whoa. Jeez, those are huge. And this is a more intense remix of the Green Hill Zone theme. It is. Oh, so every act gets its own music, like in Sonic 3. So everything is like Sonic 3, is basically what we just Kinda, yeah. yeah. Well, Sonic 3 innovated in a lot of healthy ways, but there oh. were a couple of crappy ways, too, so I'm glad they... So the... Uh, They've picked the best the of all. The fact that the mini-boss theme from this game is inspired by the same song... Because the background, the, the theme for that, the music itself, is very is a lot closer, actually, to, uh, to Blood no, of the Dance No, go back, go back, go back, go back! Well... Go back, you had the uh, special stage. No, oh, did I? Yep. Jeez, those last a while, too. Well, they don't disappear when you that's go it. off screen because of technical reasons anymore. I guess that's true. Yeah, I just they, don't know they how probably long they expect last. you to blast past them. Yeah, that's probably true. Blast processing! <laughs> I said it's blast 2017, blast. Rick. Let it go. <laughs> uh, it's a bit of a blast processing from the past <laughs> processing. <laughs> Guys, I'm so happy right now. You're just gonna fucking not get those. You're like, just, fuck I'm you, I'm too thinking. good for these. I'm just thinking. It's I'm saving faster, those. because there's. I know, I know. Yeah. I'll be good. So I can't remember, were the jump ones in Sonic 3 or did those come in oh, from yeah, Sonic and Knuckles? Uh, ooh, uh, they came in Sonic and Knuckles, actually. That's what I thought. So we're mixing and matching a little bit, but so far all four have been from Sonic 3 and Knuckles. 
The colors and, and basic patterns have, but they I think they might be remixed. No, these are these are They're all identical. These are so far identical to Sonic Three and Knuckles. Yes, but Vanilla Sonic Three, this would not have been the fourth. So one, these right? are the these are the Super Emerald courses. Maybe. Well, so no, no, no. The first three that they we had, have the yellow ones in Sonic. Like 3. this might be a pre-existing Super Emerald course, but it's not the fourth one from Sonic Three. No. The first so three that's why I'm, the, I'm none of the Sonic Three ones had the yellow. Spheres. The first one, yeah, the first three we did were from Sonic Three. This one's from Sonic and Knuckles. So far, all four of them are from Sonic Three or Sonic and Knuckles. But this is the first one we've got that's from Sonic and Knuckles. Let's Guys, just, I cannot. Ah, oh, I love this. I'm so happy. Ooh, oh, whoa, that's okay. New. No, that is Fuck new. You, that is new. new. Yeah. All right. So now I can go back and get those two other rings since those are the only ones left. Yeah, you can find them. Yeah, I gotta remember where they are. I gotta say, Sega has think, really around, done a great job. They are tastefully hitting they did all a good the job nostalgia notes by handing it over to to people who really care and know what's and, up. Fans and you know, but fan I gotta game imagine they experts. had some support. We should look at the credits. I'm sure it's the like credits are mostly are mostly fans. Sure, almost exclusively. Um, like Takashi Iizuka basically handed over the reins to Whitehead, and they were like, "Just don't fuck it up." And indeed, he did it not. It doesn't look like he fucked it up. But even, even if you only look at Sega as a marketing machine for this game, oh, yeah. they have done a great job of keeping it tasteful while totally boning my nostalgia vagina. Wow. That's a term I just made up. Yikes. Was it consensual at least? <sighs> Who can say? Cancer. Oh, I love the colors and shit. I like the... Oh, everything about this is just nice. This is enjoyable. Oh, shit. Oh, damn it. Another. Whoa! I just burned down the little spiky thing. Uh, Ooh, oh, sense. boy. Oh, this is also pretty much a Sonic 3 and Knuckles one. Oh, my God. It's so goddamn good. Oh, oh okay. Uh, okay. I get nervous doing the jumps over red ones because I just, like, have. Nervous. Oh, I didn't get the thing. Damn it. I won't get perfect on this. You guys, Yo, uh, Ben. I haven't seen you forever. I love you. Ben is here. How does it feel to be less than perfect? You guys have the same haircut right now. It's making me really aroused. Yeah, man. I'm going to go out to the hairdresser. I'm going to get the same fucking haircut. I'm not. Yeah. I Jager also kind of have the same haircut. Jager bombs. What? Is that Jager the name bombs? of the haircut? No, Maybe no Jager bombs. <laughs> is that a haircut? You don't remember that video from... Oh, from no. I'm sorry. I don't know. <laughs> CJ, it just sounds like you're shouting haircut. the word. All my friends are getting the same haircut, and we're all going out and doing Jager bombs. Nice. Oh my god, this is making me feel a lot of Makes feelings. Guys, Sonic Mania is the best Sonic game we've had in 20 years. Actually, so yeah. No, 23 years. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> Lindsay just says it's not making her kill herself, which is the best a vast fucking thing she that could have ever said about a Sonic game. So, John, John, check this out. Ready? Yeah, fine, fine. Check this shit out. Ready? I just wanted a hug, damn it. Well, she won <laughs> the exact moment. <laughs> you burned it down? I burned it down just by touching it. Yeah, now you're going to lose the shield. Oh, whoa. Oh, you didn't lose the shield. Oh, so, so there's... Shit down here. Whoa. Oh, so there are environmental, environmental interactions that didn't necessarily used to be there. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. So if you actually go in the water with the electric shield now, do you f die horribly? Oh, whoa. Uh, I don't... I don't know. That was cool. I know that... I, I, I believe the lightning field is magnetic. Uh, field shield is magnetic. So it always like, was. Well, no, but like, uh, if there's an electric like wall or ceiling or something, you'll stick to it. Like you stick to uh, it instead of oh, like in flying oh, battery so, zone. Uh, yes, except yeah, he's like, been hanging out with Ben too much because she just high fived me and it hurt both like, of us. Like those, they, those were electric ceilings, but you didn't stick to yeah, it. Yeah, now, now Ben yeah, just jumps out of the room and gives me an orgasm. If there's face. one of those, then if there's one of those, I think then you flying stick battery to it. does come back. I believe so. Uh, the water shield does something. And I can't remember what it is. What it boiler. does. We'll have, to, we'll have to see what that one does. Oh. Guys, I have a raging nostalgia boner for this game. Are we uh, doing this entire game as one episode? The, the whole game? Yeah, no. I, I, I feel like Green Hill Zone we're, we're basically doing as one thing. Oh, uh, okay. All right. Cool. Just because cool, cool. we would be cutting it off now-ish, but this is new. This is new. This yep. is entirely new. All right. I, I, I've seen this pattern before, so it probably is entirely new, but... I don't, think I've seen, I don't think we've ever seen that pattern in one of the regular ones. Maybe in Blue Sphere, but not in... Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Mm, maybe. Hmm. Anyway, I'm a very happy camper right now. Ooh. Uh, ooh. We'll get to get those there. rings if Here you we want go. the perfect. Yep. Here we go. Mr. Perfect. Oh, man. It just feels good. I cannot good. wait to play this game, and I cannot wait to be Knuckles. I fucking loved Knuckles when I was a kid. Uh, 
Like, if Knuckles and Sonic were both on a burning bridge, I would have saved Knuckles. Oh, whoa! Oh, whoa, okay, hang on. It's uh, just gonna put There your... we go. I mean... Oh, you wanted the rings. Yep. Ugh. I think Knuckles' is role in the grander scheme of things is probably more important. Why do you say that? He protects the Master Emerald. He protects yeah. the Master Emerald. Sonic just saves the world every so often. Yeah, but, no, not yeah, the but the Knuckles Emerald. could do that. He just chooses not to. He's like, ah, oh, Sonic <laughs> has this. I'm gonna take a break. And now there's, like, Tails... There's Shadow. There's... I don't even know whose side Shadow is on. Uh, I think that would be some cool DLC for this game if they let you play as Shadow, if they let you play as Amy, if they let you play as Big like they no, teased no, on April not Fool's Day. Oh, Big's Big Fishing Adventure 3 or whatever? No, they said Big was a playable character in Sonic Mania if you oh died God. 13 times. Oh, yeah. Okay. But I'm going to go ahead and say that's probably yeah. not true. Um, probably not. Amy and, Boom! Amy and Shadow would be cool. Uh, the some of the Chaotix characters would be cool. Yeah, would be neat. Knack Nack would be amazing. Knack would be great. If Robotic fan, himself would be cool. If fans are running this, they probably realize people give a shit about Knack. Oh, a regular shield. Knack's like the great white buffalo. That's the, uh, why people The like great him. white buffalo. Oh, wow, there's like water shit down here and everything, man. Water shit down? Water shit. Oh, these are platform. Okay, all right. Whoa. Oh, those have like physics to them. Like if you hit them at a fast enough speed, Oh, for God's sake. All right, one more, I guess. I enjoy these, but the, the volume of them has been a little uh, ridiculous. Look up there. It's just because you're really good, and they don't expect most people to do this right away. I guess. And the Genesis that he's standing on. It's like a statue. It's a lot cooler when we unbox it. Oh, jeez. Okay, whoa. All right. You need to do that, let it what, bring it, it backwards, and then go was forward. It, was it really a lot cooler right. when you unbox it? And you find the yellow one. I guess so. This one's going to be pretty tough. Okay, this is good. Actually, the linear ones aren't that tough if you can do them quickly before it gets too fast. Yeah, that's the thing. If they start getting fast, your reaction time has got to be, yeah. like, phenomenal for it to work. And good thing I'm here. here I go. am oh. phenomenal. Oh, ooh. Uh, oh, oh Shit. boy. You okay, can fix it. Right. No, you can fix it. Hard. No. Nope. Oh, you. Oh, whoo. Oh, ho, ho. Uh, okay. You, you still got it. it. You got it. There we oh, go. Well done, sir. <laughs> Sometimes I, I want... Oh, just respect. You just, just want you. I want. Sometimes just I want you to be dead, but right now, respect. Right, I, I can't. Sometimes I, can't I just want to leave these behind. Uh, respect. <laughs> Sometimes I just want to bend you over and respect, respect the shit out of you. <laughs> uh. Oh, that got weird. Hey, Lindsay, how are you? Hi. Are um, you on mic? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. She's here. She normally hates Sonic, but even she recognizes the inherent I'm quality in this game. I'm surprised. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. This Whoa. Isn't okay. Uh, All right. It's easy. This looks a little There's familiar. Four of those. This seems There's a little yeah. This what? This this might have been inspired by another another one that already existed. Yeah, this this could definitely be a blue sphere one. It feels tight though, right? Like yeah, it, it all like feels you're it's all very smooth. Comfortable. Thus far, one real level into this game, this is probably the best spiritual successor to any classic game that we've ever played on this fucking channel. Dude, fuck that. It this is an official Sonic game, and it is the best one we've had since Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Yeah. If I'm calling it early, I guess, but like... This is pretty early. Episode one, guys, we decided. But I can tell from some of the details that they actually thought about it the way yeah. we would have thought about it. What's what's really mind-blowing about this is this game has only been developed for about a year. Guys, did we make this I game? I feel like that's not true. No, I the, think we made this game, CJ. No, the development started... Oh, shit! Nice. Oh, Uncle in. The development on this started last year. He's not fucking around this time. He pitched it early last year. Okay, all right. It does make sense. It's like, well, well if Robotnik has this, right, why doesn't he just this. use this? Here we go. Ah! Why oh, shit, he, that's bad. Why yeah. does he fuck around with these shittier... Oh, it's gonna shoot you. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Tails! That's oh my awesome. God. Am I supposed to jump on his arm to... I don't know, man. Here we go. No, just use the oh. hills, I think. This music sounds like it would be awesome if I could hear it. Oh, that's pretty... Okay. Sounds okay from what we can... Oh, okay, there was a bomb. I was like, where'd his arms go? Ah, oh, damn it. This is awesome. Starting off the game with the last boss from the other game. Awesome. Oh, this is so good. Oh, 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 jeez. Okay, all right, okay. Yo, what is this? Ah, oh, this okay, This is like Tails. Metroid. Great ah. job, Tails. Tails do fucking it. was clutch there. Do I... Oh, hey, it's the floating ones from, from Sonic 3. Sonic floating ones. Come on. Oh, Tails almost got it. There so we I feel go. like they weren't allowed to explicitly include Sonic 3, so they've included it... In number two, number three, or did we? In other ways, yeah, that's fine. All right, that was the well, goal. We just saw Angel Island. That was the deal. That was the deal. Yeah. What's so? What's next? So, are we actually on Green Hill Zone? Do we get teleported, time traveled? Like what? 
Oh, we just suicide is the answer. Oh, oh, we got a little cutscene. Oh, oh. Are these robotics like little kids? fucking Power Rangers. These are the hard-boiled heavies. Oh, they're basically egg robos that kind of went a little nuts. What the fuck is this? What is he doing? It's teleport magic. We're so see we're you next time. Two now.